Hello friends, today we are going to learn about the different methods of liver palpation. There are five methods of liver palpation. Number one, the traditional or the conventional method. Second, the preferred method. Third, alternate method. Fourth, hooking method. And fifth, dipping method. Before examining each and one of each, every one of them, we need to understand the extent of the liver. The liver extends basically from the sixth rib anteriorly and crosses the midline through the transpyloric plane at the level of L1 vertebra. The liver extends in the epigastrium region and the right hypochondrium region and so majority of the liver palpation extends in this region itself. But the extent of palpation begins from the right iliac fossa. So to, to start with, we will go with the traditional or the conventional method of liver palpation. We are going to bear The traditional or the conventional method of liver palpation extends from the right or starts from the right iliac region where you will use your fingers of the right hand, stand at the right hand side of the patient facing towards the head of the patient and you will place it at the right iliac fossa. Lambi saas chodo, saas chodo, lambi saas chodo, saas chodo, saas chodo, saas chodo, saas chodo, saas chodo, saas chodo. So as we go like this, we extend from the right iliac region to the right lumbar and then to the right hypochondrium. In such a way, we go and find out the edge of the liver that is palpable. An important thing to remember in this is when you're palpating, you should palpate with inspiration and with expiration, you need to move one centimeter high. This is the tradition or the conventional method of liver palpation. The second is the preferred method of liver palpation where you will sit at the right hand side of the patient Place both your fingers at the right subcostal margin and palpate and feel the resistance of the liver. Lambi sasto, sastoro, sasto, sastoro, sasto, sastoro, sasto, sastoro. So as you see here, you will go from above to below downwards and feel the resistance. The resistance, when, when you don't feel the resistance, that is the extent of the liver that is palpable. This is called as the preferred method of liver palpation. The third is the alternate method of liver palpation where you will use you will use the radial border of the index finger of your right hand to palpate the liver. So you will place it at the right subcostal margin and go on palpating downwards. So as you go downwards you will feel the resistance and that shows whether the liver is palpable or not. So this is the alternate method of liver palpation. The next is the hooking method of liver palpation where you will stand at the right hand side of the patient facing towards the patient's feet, use both your hands and hook along the right subcostal margin to feel the edge of the liver. This is called as the hooking method of liver palpation. The last one is the dipping method. The dipping method of liver palpation is used in cases of ascites where the abdomen is highly distended. You will use both your fingers, place in the right iliac fossa and go downwards. Lambi saas lo, chodo. So you keep on displacing the fluid downwards in such a way you will be able to palpate the liver. So these are the five methods of liver palpation, the traditional or the conventional method, preferred method, alternate method, dipping method and hooking method. Another important aspect of liver palpation is measurement of the liver span. The liver span measurement, you start from the fourth intercostal space at the level of mid clavicular line and continue percussing downwards. So the point where you get a dull note, that point needs to be marked. This is the upper border of the liver. Then as you, as then you start from the right iliac fossa, either you can palpate from below upwards or you can percuss from below upwards. So we'll go with percussion. So the point where you get a dull note, you will mark that point. The extent from the upper point to the below lower point is the liver span. The normal liver span in any individual extends from 6 to 12 cm. Any measurement above 12 cm indicates that hepatomegaly is present. But there are certain conditions where false positive liver span can be seen. That is in cases of right sided pleural effusion or right lower zone consolidation. So we have learned about five methods of liver palpation. 
one traditional or the conventional method preferred method alternate method dipping method hooking method then we learned about the liver span and the false positive in liver span measurement